So some uh, operations that can be done other than this word cut program. So imagine we have some databases. Uh, databases are um, organized uh, like this with rows and columns. Uh, there is some objects. That is a relational database. There is an object. Let's say this is our customers. And this is their descriptions. A, B, C, D. This is the customer age. Uh, this is the customer uh, education. Let's say bachelor degree, master degree, PhD. This is the uh, location that they live. That could be a zip code. And this is some other property that describes the customer. This is called the relational uh, database format. Imagine we have the, so most of, uh, of uh, organizations will store their customer information like that. And we can have multiple tables that link to each other through some ID, uh, through some identification attribute. Let's say customer ID. One table contains the orders of the customer, another table contains the demographic information, another table something else. We can join these tables to the customer ID. How can we do this on a cluster with this map reviews? It is possible to do this joining of tables like that through map reviews. What is a relational join? So if we get two tables, this here is called a relation. So this is the relation. Uh, R and we have another relation S. So if we have two relations here, this is the first table. That is the second table. First table, our table has attributes A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. But this one has only A, B. And that one only has B, C. The common element here is B. So if the, if this is the customer ID. Then we can join this table by customer ID, which means if the ID is the same, that must be the same person. And we want to combine these two tables. this relational join. So the rows where the customer ID matches, you see, this is R, this is S, the customer ID is B. It is the common element. So this is the same customer. The information is for customer number two. table he gets one for A from, from this and for from the second table it gets six for C so this is how this is done so this join operation will join these two tables right for customer number five it's gonna get four for A from the first table and eight for C uh, from the second table but it can get also seven for C because there's two records for number five here. So you got these two, two, two records for number five. For customer ID five. So this kind of relation on joining these databases can be done through this map. How is that done? So 
each tuple. Tuple means it's a row. Uh, that's one customer, one object in the, in, the, in the table. Each tuple in the table R is mapped to a key value pair. Key, uh, key value. The key is the, the table and let's say value is, is R, is A. So each tuple in the second table Okay, so BC is the attribute names for the second table. These are the columns of the table S. So it's mapped into again a key value pair. Uh, the key is B because B was the customer ID that we used. So both these map functions will have the key the same, equal to B. Uh, value here is equal to the uh, attribute A and value here is equal to attribute C from the previous picture. So previous picture we had AB and BC. B is in both of them. One gets A, the other one gets C and we're gonna all join them together and have ABC together. So we're gonna group by keys and each reducer will get a key list that looks like this. From for for uh, for customer ID <coughs> B. From the first table, then we have one value. There was one row for B, but we also had one more row for for the same B. And in the second table S. We have also two rows for that particular B. So we we produced two rows. If you look on the previous picture, there were two rows for customer ID. Uh, for B is equal to 2. There are two rows here. And because of that, we also produce two rows in, in the output. Two here and two here. So there were two entries for the same customer. And because of that, in the result, we have also two entries for the same customer. In the, in the first table, there are two entries for customer ID number two. And so, if we have that, then we're gonna we're gonna uh, produce two in, in the result. So the reducer is taking these key value pairs from the mappers to produce the final result. And the final result is a table that has A, B, and C together. So this uh, relational join can be done uh, by going through the data once or by going through the data twice. If we, if we go through the data twice, to scan it twice, we have a two pass. If we go through the data once, uh, we have a single pass. If, why do we want to go twice? So. If, if we go twice, this particular algorithm is more efficient and it runs faster than the single pass. So the, the both single and multiple pass are described here of what they do. Okay, we are going to watch a short video now and I'll um, ask you what you think about the video.